Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. So if you watch my videos, you know that I typically am very heavy handed on liberals and, and how they restrict the Second Amendment and restrict our certain freedoms that we have in this country to benefit themselves and their agenda, okay? This video, I'm going to be a little heavy handed on a Republican just to show that I'm equal opportunity, okay? So constitutional carry is a movement that sparked within the last year and a half. It's starting to grow and expand in the number of states. And this year is no different. You've seen a couple of videos I posted, North Carolina, New Hampshire, and how they're moving towards that goal as we speak. But there is one Republican governor who has vowed to veto the constitutional carry bill when it reaches his desk. Stick by and check this one out. I need coffee. All right, thank you for waiting. South Dakota Governor Dennis Daugard, D-A-U-G-A-A-R-D, I know I'm butchering it, my apologies, sir. Um, he has vowed to veto HB 1072, which is the current legislation making it way through the state for constitutional carry. A link, as always, is in my description if you wanna read it and become familiar with it. I always uh, hope that you do read the stuff and not just take my word on it. Uh, because obviously this is my opinion. However, and it's usually right, <laughs> but uh, this gentleman, this uh, governor, has vetoed this already in the past in 2012, and there was a, uh, another one he nipped in the bud in 2015, and here we are in 2017, and it's coming back. Now, the governor of South Dakota says that uh, permitless carry, constitutional carry, will allow all kinds of criminals to start carrying guns. Really, Giacomo? Because since when has a criminal ever said, wait a second, I'm not going to pick up that gun and go rob that store because that's illegal. That's against the law. Like, that happens all the time, right? You're sounding kind of liberal. Just saying. Now, the current bill that's being um, pushed in the, in the state, and I want to look over and get the person's name right, uh, it's, be, it's been introduced by House Majority Whip Representative uh, Lynn DeSanto, Republican from Box Elder. Box Elder, that's an interesting name for a town. Uh, but that would keep the current permitting process in place, and the cost would be $10 for five years, okay? So the permitting process would still be there. But the governor says it's going to remove this whole process, and, and every mass murderer can pick up a gun now because there's no uh, permit process. Hmm. Now, my question to those of you watching this who might live in South Dakota, is your governor just as weak as my governor? Because in Massachusetts, we have a Republican. He is outnumbered by liberals. And if he did push the, uh, I guess, Republican agenda, he would be a one-and-done person. But uh, I, I don't think people should take their political career over what their job is. I, I, I just don't get it. But maybe that's the situation you guys have there. Let me know. But currently, there are 96,047 permits issued in uh, South Dakota. But the crazy thing is, is they can open carry without a permit. So you're not worried about, you know, the crazy, crazy killer <laughs> just grabbing a gun and strapping it on on the outside of his waist. It's when, when he goes, Shh, I don't have this. I'm really not breaking the law. So it doesn't make any sense. Your argument is just crazy. Criminals don't follow the law, governor, in case you missed that part. They never have. They probably never will. That's why they're called criminals. Man, it's funny how that works. But regardless, this governor wants constitutional carry to not be a factor in his state because he wants that permitting process to stay. He wants you to keep buying your right, buying your freedom, which we all know is illegal. There are cases about, you know, turning a right into a license and stuff like that. But in the past eight years, we really haven't followed law. We haven't followed the Constitution. We've kind of eroded it and moved away from it. But the last couple weeks, we've kind of come back to it, and I'm liking what I see. Let's hope it continues towards the Second Amendment. So like I said, House Bill 1072 will be in the description, as well as its sister version, which is in the Senate for South Dakota. And that's Senate Bill 94. That will also be in the description for your perusal. Let's see what happens. I mean, I've, it's a rarity that you hear a Republican do and say what this governor is doing and saying when it comes to constitutional carry. So instantly this governor has all eyes on him. You know, are you a Republican governor? And some of the things you just said are kind of dumb. But that's just one man's opinion. <laughs> we'll see. 
If you live in South Dakota, let us know in the comments what's really going on. You can only get so much from articles and information and phone calls. So let us know what's really going on so that we can get the big picture out there. Until we see each other again, this is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. If you like this type of information, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe pass this along to a friend or two. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.